When I finally say goodbye, how long will the list be? How many people will be there on the list of those I have loved? How many do I still love? Questions I ask as I face these doors again, trying to build up the courage to push them open and walk inside, trying to build up the courage to start this. They found the shadow an otherwise routine x-ray, shortness of breath and a persistent cough. It started somewhere else though. Words only heard on medical shows, words like metastasize and perineoplastic syndrome. These words start to take on ominous meanings. Sitting outside in the cold, too scared to go in there. Making a mental list of those that will miss me and those that I will miss. There is a very real debate that I am only delaying the inevitable. A very real chance that I am wasting my time by going in there anyway. Stage four. Stage four. If ever there was a chance of this getting better, it is long past. But they insist on trying. I am too young to do nothing. That is what they keep saying. How many people have I loved? It is almost a joke. When you do everything you are supposed to and end up in the same place as those that actually went out and had fun, I ate right, didn't smoke, exercised, meditated, drank in moderation, and had a stable job. I even got married, bought a house, bought a dog, two cars in the driveway, talk of children, everything. And yet here I am. There are people living longer lives, eating garbage, and shooting smack every hour. There are people smoking cartons and drinking gallons, and they get to make it to retirement. I get to wake up one morning with a cough. A minor thing that I waited on going away. A minor thing that six months later has me standing outside these doors. Even the doctors say it's a small chance. So now it's a choice. Life is choices, but death is too. Now, facing up to that reality, I am paralyzed. I can't decide. I couldn't tell her either. My wife, the woman I love. So there is at least one person on the list of people that I have loved. I couldn't tell her though. She thinks it's a small infection. If I go through those doors, she will find out. She will have to. The chemicals they will fill me with will make it impossible to hide. I know what she would want. I know that if she were here, she would be shoving me through those doors. She would want me to try for that slim chance of life. She would want to press for the few extra weeks, the few extra months. When I was born, there were complications. Had I been born a decade earlier, I would have died. I was supposed to die at birth. Maybe this is that catching up to me. Maybe death is real and it wants me. It granted me a minor reprieve and now it has come to claim me. Maybe I should let it. I have no fear of death, no fear of pain. No fear of these things that should be pushing me in those doors. I have a fear of life. Life is the only thing I know for sure can hurt me. Maybe it is time. Maybe I should be giving myself to death. I want to say goodbye to everyone I have ever loved. I want to feel like my time here had meaning. I know it didn't. There is no such thing as meaning, not in a world like this. Walking away from the doors is harder than I thought it would be. I managed to put one foot ahead of the other though. There are a few good months left. Then the pain will steaden. There will be blood and tears, suffering and death of course. But maybe that was the way it was supposed to be. To everyone I have ever loved. Goodbye.